guys, it's Paige Poppy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing another time-lapse painting video with you because it's Wednesday and I'm really excited about this video because I actually found this footage and I forgot I had it. If you can believe it, it's from October of 2015, so almost a year ago. And I like have almost forgot about making this painting and watching this footage, I know exactly where the original is in my studio. I have it in the portfolio, but I totally forgot I made it. So I'm really glad that I found the footage and can share it with you, um, you know, later down the road and still revisit it and talk about the piece. At the time, I called this piece Rain By and I did have the original and I also made a couple prints of it, but I never like shared a photo of this online or sold the prints or anything. Um, and I'm not sure why, because by the time I get to the end of the video, I ended up really liking the piece and there was a lot of dimension and layered color. So that was cool. And this piece is a little bit um, surprising to me because I'm not sure if you guys know this, but I primarily paint botanicals and landscapes and like architecture and illustration most often, as I'm sure you know. And I never paint people or animals really or like human figures. Um, it's just not where my strong suit lies at the moment. Um, so it's kind of interesting that I did a human element. And I think at the time, if I can remember correctly, I wanted to paint it as a challenge to myself and see if I could do it. And surprisingly, I'm like pretty happy with how the eye turned out and I freehanded it. And I do remember I was working from a photograph of an eye. So I always try to work with a photograph of a subject matter rather than a drawing of it because I feel like you just automatically are set up to have a more realistic final drawing or painting or just final image in general. So I ended up being really pleased with it. And of course I love rainbows. I always love a lot of like saturated color, technicolor. Uh, that's my thing, but something about the eyelashes in this piece are like slightly creepy too, but not like in a scary way, just kind of like unruly. So I kind of like the contrast that's happening here and I was just really happy to stumble upon it. So now that I'm watching this and editing the video, I think I will pull that piece back out and revisit it and maybe take some photos or make some prints. We will see what happens. But um, yeah, this was kind of like a happenstance to find this footage because as you guys know, I am leaving for San Francisco tomorrow night and I'm gonna be gone until Tuesday. And I have just had so much to do the past couple of days because um, my week is shorter, so I'm leaving town and uh, my work week is cut short. So I have just been like hustling so hard trying to finish up with all my current projects and current clients. Um, so I actually did have some painting footage this week, but it will be included in Friday's vlog. Um, but I just didn't have enough footage to make an entire time lapse. So I was sitting here like 10 o'clock on Wednesday and I was like, oh my God, what am I going to make a video about? So luckily found this baby in the hard drive and was able to share it with you. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that I haven't been too rambly. It's kind of been a little opportunity to catch up before I head off to San Francisco. Um, I did vlog this week and I'm gonna keep vlogging through part of um, Friday, but then I will edit my vlog Friday morning. I have a few hours to myself while my friend is at work, but then she's getting out early. So. I will catch you guys on Friday and then also here's a look at the final piece just so you can see it and this shot is my favorite. I just love all these little colorful details and there is a little bit of acrylic mixed in here too as well like with the white and some of the layered colors on top so that's why you're seeing a little bit of dimension. Okay guys that wraps it up. I will talk to you Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Until my next video I'm sending all of my positive and creative vibes your way and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Today we're going to be talking about working as an artist and more specifically work environments. So I'm going to be sharing my perspective on working from a studio versus working from home. 